So first things first with this blind is right now it's just folded up on the side. And when you get it in the mail, it comes in a giant box, but it's obviously not assembled. The assembly isn't too hard. The easiest way to do that is check out Beaver Tail's actual YouTube page. They run like a 30 minute video on how to install this thing. It did not take me 30 minutes to even make it. But if you really want a thorough and in-depth thing, don't look at the paper, watch their video. They'll show you how to. Now, as you can tell, I've already got some grass on this blind right here. And the blind, when it comes, even comes with a travel cover. So this travel cover is pretty handy uh, when you're driving out, coming back, just to make sure wind doesn't catch this or that you don't lose all your grass and stuff like that. Um, the one downside with the cover that I'll point out that I'm probably gonna have to have fixed is actually there's two. First is there's no spot for your dog, so there's no dog door. Beaver Tail makes a door for it, but you have to pay extra, and then you have to cut into your blind, and then you have to sew in a new door and all that extra stuff. So hunting with the dog, like I have here, uh, it's been tricky to figure out where do I put him and where's a good spot for him. That's one downside of the blind. The other one is the buckles on this cover. So I've already lost a couple buckles on the cover because they aren't sewn in, and so if you go to the end of the rope, uh, the buckle can just slide right off. Let me show you. So here's one of the buckles. Hopefully you guys can see that. So there's a little bit of a, uh, of a ridge on the end of the buckle, but there's been multiple times I've pulled this buckle and it just comes right off. Um, also too, the straps themselves here, these straps are not very long. And so when you go to wrap them around the cover, it actually barely, barely fits for me. I have uh, 15 pounds of grass on here and you I couldn't put any more on there without having this cover never fit so that's one downside now as far as the blind itself it's amazing I really really like it it's worth probably every penny if you have the money um, the only other thing I would have done different for this blind is I would have bought a bigger one I have a 16 foot boat this is a tracker grizzly sportsman in fact I have a review of this boat uh, in a different video so you can check that out if you're interested but the only thing I would have done differently is I bought a 16 foot 1600 16 foot beaver tail blind I would have went with the bigger version just for a little bit more coverage and you'll see why here in a minute but that's the only downside with perching the blind that was just my fault now it's pretty easy to uh, to pull out in fact I'm gonna set you guys down here and you can watch it's pretty easy to pull out you just take the ends these ends right here, these ends come out, pull one towards the front, and then you go to the back. Do the same thing here with the back. This is just the end of the cover that fits over the motor. Now doing it from inside the boat is a lot easier than doing it from the outside of the boat, so just take this with a grain of salt. Other than this, now we're just gonna flip this whole boat over really, really easy, or flip the whole canopy over. Let me hop up in here. You grab just one of the bars, take it, and pull. And it's pretty much that simple. Um, now, the blind itself comes with three different shooting ports that you can shoot from. That would make sense. Now, as we come up here, you can kind of see, we got a couple right here that are already opened. This one here, middle one's shut, Velcroed shut. And then the back one is open right there in the back as well. You have plenty of headspace in here, about 34 inches, I think. When I sit, I'm six foot two. When I'm sitting on my boat or in a chair, um, my chin and up is out of the holes. Now, Beaver Tail also sells an accessory that has a cover, like a roof. I didn't want that because I want to be able to shoot and see all around me instead of just in one direction, just from where I hunt. I like having a whole 360 view, not just kind of like a face forward view. So, now these bl the blind itself has bungees on the front that just come around the corners. And though this blind is made for Beaver Tail's own boats, it fits my Tracker Grizzly pretty good. It's just like that. Now the grass here just falls down. And then the cover on the back slips over the motor. Now this is why I wish I had a longer cover for this exact reason. If I had a 17 foot cover 
this would fit further down on my motor and I don't like how I just don't like how open this is to having glare and shine and I don't want to paint up my brand new motor like in a camo pattern so that's one that's the reason why I wish I had a longer cover so if you're interested in buying one of these you might want to think about spending the 50 extra bucks 100 extra bucks and getting a one size up if you're worried like me this is the other reason too you can see in the front here how it's exposed I just wish that would reach a little bit more but it doesn't so as you can see the blind comes with these stubble straps all over the sides and the top which is very handy I've used uh, just some basic crafting grass. I actually bought this from a craft store because it was way cheaper than buying it from an outdoor company. So tip on that. But you fill in the stubble straps, drop down the grass, and it blends it in pretty nice. If you're out hunting, I'd probably do a little bit more third job knocking it all back, but we're not. So now getting up into the blind can be a little bit tricky when you're outside of it so this is the problem with my dog and not having a dog door is every time he goes in and out I have to open this thing up and then drop it back down and that's just trouble here we are inside the blind you can see that I'm about head high over the blind itself which is for me is nice like I said I'm 6'2 a little bit longer of a torso so if you're shorter than me it might be a different story for you but um, I can easily just duck and get below the level of the blind if I want to now these doors are pretty nice they're velcroed these shooting ports and as you can see let me turn you around here and I'll show you so these have Velcro on them here, and you can Velcro them up to these center dividers that split each one of the ports. So there's, like I said, three shooting ports. There's a center divider that goes over or in between each one. The center dividers are actually removable. So if I want to have one big shooting lane here, like I got a bunch of buddies, I can remove this whole thing and drop it down. And now I have this all open as long as I just disconnect the grass. Um, that's not usually how I do it, just because I have myself to only really worry about. So I don't need to have a, a big giant shooting port. The only, the thing I don't really like about it that I'm probably gonna change when I put in the dog door, uh, and I have to take this to the camera shop to do that, is I might ask them to put buttons on instead of Velcro. And the reason why is, see as you look right here, this is Velcroed and the grass has just filled up these Velcro strips so that I have to constantly be pulling stuff out of them to get it to fit. The other thing is they're not super, super strong. Uh, they don't attract to each other super well, so it's easy for them to come apart, which is a bummer because if you just nudge them, they'll sometimes they'll just drop. And then when they drop, they drop all of this grass and then you have to pull this all this grass up out of the way, re-velcro it, whatever. It's it's not that big of a deal, but if you're already gonna be working on the blind, you might as well do a little bit more and make your life easier in the long run. So that's probably something I'm gonna add is just buttons instead of these Velcro strips. Now, Beavertail was kind enough. Let me see if this will auto focus in here. Uh, is it showing up? Yeah. So where these Velcro strips actually match or meet on the side and you can hang up this flap, the shooting port, out of the way if, uh, if you're sitting here. Now one of the things I've also done is, instead of keeping the shooting port wide open, is I actually Velcro it halfway, so the port is only half open, which means I'm just less visible to any ducks flying around. Um, as you can see too, you have access to not only the motor, and the hatch, but up here, let me move to the front. It's gonna be a little bit more tricky because I got decoys and stuff. So these are all the decoys I've filled up. Like I said, there's my gun box on the side. If you're interested in more about this boat, which is the Sportsman Grizzly 1548, it's a 16 foot boat, then check out the other video I've made about that. But you can even see too, 
this latch or this hatch is still able to be opened. I'm able to get in there if I need to. So overall, I love this blind. Woo! I love the blind. It's worth every penny. Um, super well made. I can tell from the beginning that this is going to last a while as long as you don't abuse it. One of the things I do after every hunt is I, uh, I put the blind back up and let it dry out so the grass and the fabric doesn't get like moldy and wet. So if you care for it, I think this thing will last a really, really long time. That's the Beaver Tail 1600. Again, it's on a Tracker Grizzly 16 foot boat. Uh, highly recommend it. Go check them out and we'll see you later.